I said to the Department of Public Works that a conversation must be had before any work go on this path because this is private property. And if we, if there's something that we don't want on the path, we have the right to say thank you for your donation, we don't want it. Or the, the location of where you might want to put something, we may have other plans for it. We were aggressively, aggressively dealt with the day by the, by the contractor and the contractors. So far where I was threatened that if I take a picture of anything else, I would know what happened to me. First of all, it is extremely, I, I have also called the permanent secretary, uh, Mrs. Colbert, and said to her that this is going on despite me sending her a letter saying to her to cease and desist, tell the contractor cease and desist until we have a dialogue. You cannot come in people's backyard and put down what you feel like without discussing it with them. And that's all we wanted. Just pure communication. Now, we've not had that communication. That contractor, I've asked the police to, uh, to, to look into this matter, to find out if he had a legitimate contract. If he does not have a legitimate contract, I want him to be arrested for damaging private property and to make sure we're going to find out who's going to pay for this. Now you can please speak. Sure. First, thank you very much. Uh, I always start on my conversation. I have a new lease or look on life after COVID-19 and being down for almost a month. Mm. Practice. Mm. Mm. I sometimes stop to breathe. Yeah, that's right. Practice the protocols and take this thing very seriously. I have to get a good dog. I can't jog and I can't walk as far as I used to. This, this, let me just say this, that I am not in control of the national project or the island-wide project to develop the paths on the Providence. Now, if you go into uh, Michael and, and some of the other communities, you'll find that there are paths that have been upgraded. There are any number of paths in Yamakro that, that have been selected to be upgraded. And so we've been asking the government, listen, there's this one, there's the one in Colony Village that they're going to put lights on. We were assisted to better the lights here. And so as a government project, the MP is not in control of these parts. Now, so you see, there, there are even signage that have gone up. So after COVID-19 came and the funding that had to be, had to put, put, to be put to keep people who aren't going to work but giving them a salary and feeding questions. The money is for the power dissipated because they had to rearrange a lot of stuff. Originally, Mr. Ferguson, Mr. Ferguson is correct, when they heard about the development of the power, we had a conversation. Everybody could hear me? Okay. We had a conversation. And what I said to them there is that, listen, I will reach out to the Ministry of Works to see where you can have a consultation as to what is going to go on the park. And I've heard questions saying a basketball court is to go on the park. What I've been advised, and I'll, I'll give you the chronological, my involvement chronologically in the event, there's no basketball court. Let me say this to you, that you are representing that you don't want it. Well, there's some young people and some persons who may not know you in the community who are saying, who are these people who are saying they don't want this? So we had the conversation. I reach out to work to say they are, they, the persons want to have the consultation. Shortly thereafter, COVID-19 came and another number of other things came and I was told that there was very little funding to do all the parks. So you have different communities who have drawings. I can show you drawings for this park, for the park, this over in the back, for Peggy Phillips Park. There's no money to finish these things. And so there was, there was a lull. You did, you, you did send a letter. So when there was no money, 
I didn't I can't say that I lost interest. I, I sat at the table. I know what we were trying to do. Because we were trying to digitize the education and all those different things. And then I was told I was told that one day I was in the community, I went up by the next park where we're doing the backyard farm. Doing some stuff there. And I was told that there was some concerns being raised here with a contractor being on the park. So when I came, I met Mr. Ferguson. We had a brief conversation. I think you and about four other persons were here. And I told them that I would, I would reach out. I did reach out to the minister and they agreed with that this, there would be, they're gonna try and organize a consultation. Again, there was back and forth about it. I was down for the past month, wrestling for my life. And let me say this to everybody here. I'm running the election. After what I've experienced, if I win, thank God. If I don't win, I'm grateful to God for the opportunity of being given to serve. I am now think of my children and my family and the short time I have here. So after coming out of that, I heard this morning, I sent out, ask 